I would tell people who, who have a complaint or have an issue with anchor hawking not to expect a response from them. Um, they, they just simply don't seem interested in, in customer service. And, and I say that from their hours and their inability, their failure to, re, to return phone calls or to let you make phone calls. Um, and I, I just, no response from them, no response whatsoever. Just the one. I was cooking, which I very seldom do. Um, I was mixing two things together and I realized the bowl I was using was too small. So I picked up a bigger bowl, which was the anchor hawking bowl and put it over the top. And, you know, I was going to upend it and it must have tipped the edge of my counter. It exploded. It did not break. It exploded. Thousands of pieces of glass. It went everywhere. I don't have a very big kitchen. Um, I'm. It went. I had it in my hair. I'm really surprised I didn't get it in my eyes, and I'm very glad I didn't. It was just astonishing. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I took pictures of it. I saved the glass, and um, and I immediately got on the line. Got on. Got went online to find out about getting in touch with Anchor Hawking and telling them about my experience, and that was unbelievably disappointing every every number they told me first of all their customer service hours are from like eight to twelve and one to five monday through friday so evidently if you're a customer an unhappy customer you have to wait this was on a friday afternoon that this happened you have to wait till monday then um, when i called they said oh you need to call this number and i i got several of those and every time i tried those numbers the mailbox was full so I finally gave up. <laughs> I just gave up. And um, actually, I got through to you you people. And I did get through to them because I got a little note from them saying, we have a ticket for you, your ticket number, blah, blah, blah. And we'll get around to you as soon as we can. But we have a, you know, a lot of people ahead of you. And I, I felt like saying I'm sure you do. <laughs> anyway, that's the last I've heard of them, from them. I mean, it was it, it literally exploded. I, I can't tell you how how, how frightening it was. Um, I couldn't, of course, I had to throw away all the food that I had been cooking. I had to throw away food that was sitting on the counter because it was, I tried eating it actually, but but the second time I got you know crunchy glass, I, I said this is not a good idea. So I would advise anybody who has a complaint about an anchor hawking product not to expect uh, to get satisfaction from the company. My complaint was very difficult to lodge with them. I did get a response from them several weeks ago saying that I was a ticket number and they'd get around to me when I could. And I do not consider that customer service. And um, that's uh, that's my anchor hawking story. First of all, they'd, um, <laughs> they'd get back to me. I, I, I don't know if, if they have to be booted in the butt to, to do anything. Um, I, I don't I don't know. I suppose I'd wait and see what they what they had to say. I was I was really pleased to get four free free cases of cat food from Purina and I was very happy to get several quarts of ice cream from um from the ice cream company. I don't know what I'd want for anger hawking because I don't trust their glassware. But I certainly would like I certainly would like an acknowledgement that that happened, an explanation of why it happened, and an an apology. Thank you.